Welcome back everyone. We're gonna do another video. Uh, we're gonna take this giant caterpillar uh, 745C from Carlsbad, New Mexico to Glamis, California. 73,546 pounds. It's gonna be a little bit longer. It's 819 miles. So let's get underway. Uh, hang on a minute. I know I did that one bad. Okay. What the uh, smoke? This whole thing is messing me up. Oh yeah, see, and then it does that. And that's, I'm gonna have to go back to the old keyboard, I guess. Okay, so we got the beacons on. Yep, we got the trailer attached. I had to get rid of my other one, so let's get, let's get rolling here. See how this bad boy pulls this big thing and right now it doesn't seem to be giving it an issue but I'm gonna have to go back to the other keyboard I guess because this one's just not doing what it needs to do okay I gotta stop a minute so I can open this can of corn or can of soda wasn't working one-handed. Okay, we're gonna turn on the lights for this one for good measure. Plus, we got the uh, strobes on top. We're good to go for 14 hours. And like I said, I guess I'm going to have to uh, not use this keyboard because it just is not functioning the way it Turn should. Left. I think there's something wrong with the escape key. I mean, that really bums me out because this is backlit and everything else. It's got all the same uh, features to it pretty much that the other one has just the other one was a little bit smaller and oh come on got a killer jig break and everything else but it's the one that came in the engine pack from Zmod it just doesn't have any kick it I mean I start any other truck and, and with any other motor in second gear even with this weight on and yeah it's it, hard to get going but this one doesn't even want to go in first All right. So, it's going to be like I said, an 819 mile journey. Uh, a little bit longer, but a lot heavier. I only took this one for the, for the, because it's, it's probably going to end up being an hour and a half video. Uh, just to see if she'd pull it. on the back because Turn it is left. extended over the trailer. Like I 
like that. Turn right. Turn right. What's bad is the uh, Cat 550 straight pipes for the other trucks I've got. Doesn't work for this one. Has more. motors give them some more torque I mean the other motor that's done by Robin Icus that's the 800 horse go straight but it's got Z mod sounds to it has more torque than this thing so it says 14 hours I didn't mark a spot like an idiot to take a break, but I'm sure I can find one, even if I have to go back. I don't like going to the big map, but uh, it seemed like I was rushing and this keyboard seems to be messing me up, so. straight. There's a 
stoplight here. Turn left. You guys want to make truck driver thinking you're keep geez. left after all that. 50 yards. Turn left. Making all these crazy turn turns. left. Good luck with that. Any trucker would look at that and go, yeah, no. <laughs> To go an extra block to get a big light with a turning lane? Yeah, no. I'll take this way instead of the other way. Because I notice a lot of times, too, they, uh, where they want you to turn, there ain't no light. Now, I know there's quite a few cities around there that, in the, in the United States, that they don't want you to, uh, drive through the city and on certain roads and stuff. Albany, Georgia's good for that. But Go in this straight. game, it's a little different. They aren't going to put a road you ain't supposed to be on. Of course, I have that no road lock thing or whatever, and I can pretty much, there's some roads that are locked off early, but you can actually get some of them, make a turnaround if you have to, versus if it had the excess area where you ain't getting by that at all. straight. These lights are... This is why I don't like cities. Too much stop and go! that interior noise mod out because it every time the trailer shimmies and shudders Go it makes straight. a sound and actually I think that's the air seat but that's annoying. stopping on the side of the road and on they really don't want them on off ramps and on ramps but it happens but like that little motel that was just back there that we passed you know on, on the, the map that it isn't there you know but okay let a truck driver pull in there if it's even private property but if the motel looks looks like that one did which is closed you know you can park a rig in there for at least sleeping go You have the options that uh, SCS gives you, which is motels, uh, truck stops, and that's it. I remember the old days when, well, that might have been a different map mod too, where you could pull into a Walmart and if you could get your load dropped, I think it was MHA Map, map Pro or Pro Map. You could park in the back there and catch some shut eye. That was super. Of course, a lot of 
other businesses don't like that either, and you have to clear it with them first, so. See, I can't tell if that's trailer movement or seat movement. That little sound that kicked off when I went around the corner. I love that jake brake. That is, this is the uh, engine that came in the uh, Cat C15 6NZ 34 or something Z mod pack, and I do like the uh, the jake. Mods put some excellent sounds in there. I, I will say that. Of course, he pays people to, to actually record the sounds that he gets, which is that's that's taking your job literally of being a, a modder. That's why he charges a little bit from each guy, so he's making back. What he paid, probably what he pays for that, I'm assuming. Discovered a waypoint out here, but you can't sleep there. No. I haven't even got out of seventh gear yet because this roads are windy, and I ain't gonna get. Yeah, I'm going up the speed limit like those last couple of like turns I came around. Like, well, yeah, new no. like this one up here. Don't be crazy. 55? Yeah, not happening. But I hope everyone's having a good day. Can't complain myself, really. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like. 
like button, guys and gals. Help the channel out. YouTube algorithm. Well, I could set the cruise, but then again, I'm going to have to slow down here. Like I said, I can't tell if that's a, the seat and the keys and stuff when you go around the corner or what that is, but I can't get it. That's a, there's, there's a mod that I got from uh, Z Mods that's interior noises. straight. Had no clue that was a downhill. I just saw a flat surface. And some of the places I've gone map, some of the signage for like truck stops when, when you're trying to find a, where to turn in uh, are really bright. I haven't figured out how to turn them down yet. Maybe somebody can uh, put that in the description. I can figure that out because if I turn my you know, in cab lights down. Uh, it it doesn't seem to help. It's like the the headlights to me right now, anyway, on coming and way back behind me are blurry. Keep right. After fifty yards, turn right. Right. That's unusual. Normally it's 50 
survive normally. Um, I've got my camera working uh, again because like I said I've done a lot of stuff on my desk that I've got a lot of rat, rat nest wires running too just to, right now because I'm still on trying to get a mount uh, mount for my monitor to get it up off the desk uh, VESA mount and I have to have an LG 32 inch screen that does not have normal mounting brackets and I've bought two brackets now that are adapters that have to go on them one of them I can't use because it's the way the monitor is made. This next one I just ordered, I, it, it, it's either going to work or I'm going to hack up the, the back of the monitor to make it work. Bro, I brother, dribble and dribble the heck out of it. Exit right ahead. And then look at the speed limit. You go, okay. After now let's the speed limit yards, 75. I can do left. that. That is for cars. Please get with the program. Turn left. That's a car speed limit, not a truck speed limit some of these roads and, and when it says 70 75 and you're gonna be flipping flipping it Update from Steam. <clears throat> and 
all my save files for ATS were gone. And I had like three profiles, my grandson's, mine, and then the YouTube profile. So they were, all the save files were gone. I literally had to start all over. And I had the separate files saved to the cloud and, and saved on a, on a different drive, but it didn't matter. Because all the, once SES took the save files, because that's when they save it, when you save it to even another drive, all the save files were synced to the cloud. And it didn't matter, you know, it, it, I couldn't get them back. So I said, you know what, we're just not going to sync to the cloud anymore. And I save them every, usually every couple times, uh, except for you, the, the YouTube profile here. I'll, uh, when I get done with the run and we get off the air and everything, then I turn around and save that, that file. Uh, because I don't want to lose this stuff again. I'm getting tired of starting over. This is like, I mean, I've got over 7,100 hours played on this game. And the starting over has, since 2015 has been crazy. I think I've had to do it like six or seven times. And the only time that keyboard seems to have an issue is with this game. Where it kicks it right back out of wherever, like if I hit the escape key, which is supposed to take you back to the main menu, it'll pop right back into the game. You know, and it's, it's just, it's aggravating is what it is. I mean, I got a $100 mouse that I bought my grandson. He didn't like using it after a bit because he said it was too small. Light is all get. And then I got this new keyboard because I was, you know, the other one was, it felt like I had to have needle fingers to do it. And I just like, yeah, no. Nah. So I bought this one for a good price, Red Dragon. And I've had nothing but problems with it. with the escape key in this game. Oh wow, I'm getting a little rain going on here. I do have his uh, Z mod weather mod in there too. I think I'm going to have to go back to the other keyboard. Oh, yeah. Go back to the other keyboard and just deal with it until I can afford the one I want. Because I used to have one of these Red Dragons, man. And I, bought a, I bought a mouse and a mouse pad. And, oh, it's not good. Yeah, that truck didn't even slow down. Uh, I bought the uh, bought it as a combo deal. I got the the mouse pad, the mouse, the keyboard, and the headsets, which you know they weren't quality headsets. But they worked, and uh, I never had a problem with the keyboard. Never. That's not surprising. I think what I'm going to do... Wow. Thunder kicked in and we in the rain. Might have to load the uh, 
brighter headlights in there. I have to figure out how to get the ones where I had the fog lights. But I use a lot of Z mods, mod, you know, sound mods and stuff like that. I use the sound pack. I've got a lot of engine uh, sound mods, you know, that from downloading both Rudas and the 900 and, and the uh, 389. I've got Creech bombs in there. You know, so I've got where my maps used to be the, the, the major thing, noob. Uh, the trailers used to be major, yeah, but now with the 900, and, and I, I don't understand that because like Pinga, Pinga's my, you download his truck, and it's one file, you, you don't even have one folder, you know, you, where Ruta, yeah, there's, there's about eight to each truck. And then eight for his trailer, so Bart's got like four or five for his trailer. Uh, please pull in for a vehicle inspection. take a screenshot of it. And at least brakes well on the scale. Yeah. 108,000.
fatigue's on, so. Fifty yards, turn left. Turn left.
after 100 yards, turn left. And the other thing I wish they'd do is be able to... Make it where you could turn the inside lights on without having a beacon on there. So I think Brutus, you have to have the beacon on. Oh, it used to be where, like Viper Struck, I think it is when you turn the headlights on. figuring out keys. Turn right. Glad to reset everything. Jesus! My trailer just don't turn for nothing. Okay, let's see what it looks like on the outside because it used to have... Yeah. I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so we're gonna get some sleep. What is. Wow. I'm gonna have to fix that too. Uh oh, I know what I did for that. I always have. I hate this trailer because it doesn't it doesn't turn. I mean, I'm gonna hit it again. Actually, I think I'm going to go over here because I think there's a light here.
dead. Pardon my French. Ass motor. I'm sorry, but... 2,100 foot-pounds of torque and you kill it in second gear. SES trailers and why I couldn't why I couldn't get something coming out of Carlsbad with my trailer is beyond me and I've had that happen a couple times even after parking and waiting 24 hours or 8 hours whatever it is now the loads didn't change usually you can get them kind of to roll over, but I wasn't driving three and a half hours to get a load with my trailer. Ah, uh, no, that ain't gonna work. So I've got to, you know, had to dismiss the trailer. run with this one. Oh, I can't see the damn light. Oh, I think I can. No? Well, I can kind of see it. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. don't like stopping at Sierra and Sierra Vista because of the problem that you just saw that I had with especially with SES trailers like I said they just don't walk right now if I probably would have went to the motel might have been, might have been a little bit easier until it come out the time that I had to leave The only thing I've had a problem with, with is motors. The 630 horse Go straight. motor that he also put out, I believe, has almost as much torque as this thing. Torque is everything in a truck. Horsepower don't mean a rat, but, you know, as far as anything, but torque is where these big trucks make their living. This truck with this motor just has always seemed to have a problem with you 
have to start it out in first gear. I've never had to. Uh, I've never had to start out in first gear in any truck I've ever driven, unless I was hauling heavy. But even this one, you, with no trailer behind you, try starting out in second gear. It don't like it. and burning. I mean, you know, I've got 336 in here, or at least 335, or 325. And heck, if I had highway gears at 264 to 280 on the rear ends, oh my gosh. It'd take forever to get up to speed, but once it got there, you'd have no problem. Maybe that's why I take the bigger motors, because I want the torque. I don't want the, I'm not looking at the horsepower, I'm looking at the torque. Let's pull, you know. That's how these, these things make their money, is pulling. For long distances. Everybody got their vac vaccine yet? I've got both my shots. I have said that before. My daughter got both of her shots. Now we're waiting for uh, medical cards so we can get the 12 year old vaccinated and then go on to the younger ones when it becomes available for them for school. Keep and they're probably going to have it. Granted, it's not foolproof, but it's a lot better than nothing. You know, and I guess this Delta variant is kind of creepy. A lot of people in the South, though, that haven't got vaccinated don't get that. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people I guess in Houston, lost their job because they didn't want to get vaccinated. Well, you know what? When you're a first responder, working with, with people in the hospital and people are coming in sick, yeah, I think that should be the way it is, mandatory. I'm not a first responder, but my job is was considered a necessity and you know, yeah, I put it off for a long while, too, but, you know, <clears throat> then I started thinking, you know, I got three grandbabies in the house that live with me that I take care of, too, and I didn't want to bring something home for them, you know, if at all possible. <clears throat> like I said, I know the vaccines aren't a 100%, but... It's better than nothing. And 
at my age, I could have got it way back when, but I was being stubborn and saying, well, you know, not too sure about it. You know, yada, 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 and I finally said, you know what, I got to think, start thinking about them and not just myself. Go straight. And, you know, my stepson lives here too, and you start bringing all kinds of nasty up to the front door. Uh, why am I doing 24? Keep left.
why you would want to make your truck louder than it already is. I mean, that loud. It was, it was obnoxiously loud to where I would get a headache driving down the road in that thing. There. Okay, that's a Mountie. Pulled somebody over. I mean, I've started putting real uh, bull bars on the front of my truck. They stopped pulling out in front of me. Because now I just scoop you up and move you out the way with the bull bars I have on there. I get tired of y'all wrecking the front end of my truck. And trust me, that bull bar that saved a lot of damage. Yeah, it had weight, but it saved a lot of damage. And I still, this is still one of the major complaints is that when these people come on, on ramp, people are stopping in the middle of the freeway to let these people merge. You no, know, read the driver's handbook for crying out loud. You'll find out that is illegal. Don't do it. You're waiting to cause an accident. And if you do that stuff on, on in the United States on the freeway, and the accident happens, it's your fault. Because you stopped on the freeway at 65, 75 miles an hour, everybody's coming up behind you. I don't care what you do to a truck, you are not stopping it in a short distance. I guess we put the window up, huh? But I saw this big ARI sleeper on a, on a Cascadia, and I figured, yeah, I used to have a 389 that, that did that. I don't like the 900 with it on there, but I had a 389 a long time ago that, that had the big sleeper on it like this, and I thought, yeah, it takes a little bit of a challenge, but okay, I can pass this one. Hoorah. I'm never going to get this part of the road uncovered because of the way they do this. I mean, I'm going to have to download a, a modded car. Oh, this one actually did it, but there's going to be a lot of places I'm going to have to download a modded car to get to. It's like Yosemite. You go through Yosemite, you're getting a ticket. They'll tell you at the gate, you got to turn around, or they won't even raise the gate. You got to go around it. Crazy. Go ahead and put that stuff in there if you can't. Take a truck through it. And I get it. National Forest. I get it. You know. Like if you go up from Fresno. You know, and you cut through to, to to make that shorter, then yeah, you're going through the national park. It's beautiful the way that Team Reformer did it, but it's not cool when you start bagging up fines.
downloaded a new polar trailer, fuel trailer for 140. The only one I had before was 138, and it, it worked. I didn't really have any complications Keep about right. it, I knew. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. Got me was Go straight. Really nice at After first. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Okay. And I got. Button box with FTG's logo on it because it's well, I'm not a pronounced YouTuber yet, so they didn't want to put my channel logo on there. And uh, go straight. Stop sign. So I can stick my logo on it, but I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get the other base plate that's black that has the holes cut out of it, or the words cut out for like the horn, the display, and stuff. So the backlight that I have will shine through them too. I wish the the ASP would have did things a little differently, even if you put a small switch somewhere to turn the uh, After backlight on, because it's on right. all the time. So it's like, okay. I've got orange in my CP, my, my tower. Right. And I got, they didn't have orange for the box, so I got green. And... You know, I had to have something for at you know when I play in the dark. But it doesn't light up uh, because of I the, the I got the aluminum backing, so it, they didn't have the things cut out. There was a lot of things I did wrong with this box that uh, I'm gonna buy the new face plate. But the new face plate's like. After shipping and handling everything, it's like $22, but you couldn't wait two months. You know, it's like, really? Those faceplates you should have already had made up. I mean, come on, guys. I've had several of my own businesses, and, uh, you know, things today aren't done the way they, they should be as far Keep as business. Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. I mean, they evolve. Uh, ASP, the guy that did the ASP, did went to evolve for the boxes, you know, and, and because they can produce them. And they they bought up the uh, probably the patent, I want to say, but I mean that's great. I love it. I think the. Simu panel box. It's going to give them a run for their money though because it's a little bit cheaper and it's got pretty much all the same same stuff on it. And uh, I was looking at the two boxes when I was getting ready to buy mine. And this box without the microphone was $287 for shipping and handling and everything, and I had to wait two months to get it. Um, the other one 
without the microphone is 200 and you can have it in eight days and you can change the color of the back behind the buttons each button keep right it's got RGB it's got you know the multicolored it's got static color and like I said a lot of the switches are a little bit tinier I mean all the switches on the on the uh, all the switches on the other the simu panel are about the Keep size right. of the after 50 yards, drop axle turn right. and everything button on this one but all the other buttons are push button turn right which the light knob button is the one that confuses me because you gotta turn it on click it up again click it down back again for the headlights But it's got a key and a brake. Oh, excuse me. Key and the the brake buttons and everything. So, you know, it's pretty much the same box with a few. Oh yeah, and it's got the window buttons already built in box for the automated windows. But I think the ASP might be a better built box. I don't I don't, I don't know because after I don't have the money yards, to throw out there right. and compare them and this guy put Turn all his right. put all his stuff on YouTube so you can see it, and it was word of mouth that got me to go to ASP. Now I know one YouTuber had a problem with the. Fuel button and popped out after using it for two months. Now I haven't had that problem, but I don't know if they addressed that since or if they fixed his or whatnot. I guess he told him you just send me the, the little rubber pieces. I can fix it myself. You know, I don't know if they you have reached your destination. Would do that. Okay, so, uh, no, we're just going to go skip, because that's a, that's a pain in the butt. So, it was 822 miles, 27 hours, 16 minutes to deliver, 199.8 gallons of fuel consumed for this load. Well, that's going to do it for this one, y'all. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Until next time, bye!